Hey, Tyler, Theater Design Company, Tech Tuesday, week number three. And what we're going to do is go through my personal tool bag. So what we got is circuit tester. Everybody needs one. So tone and trace system. So we can use the tone or trace, trace cat six, cat five. We use it to trace speaker wires. Almost uh, one of the most used tools in our bags other than cutters and uh, basic hand tools. And I put both my tester for that and then the next one we're going to pull out, which is my network tester. So I put those in the side of my bag. We also have a little three foot test loop for plugging into keystone jacks and whatnot. And what I'll do is I'll link a lot of these tools down here in the description. So blue tape, some double back tape, electrical tape, my Side pocket on the right here, I have both uh, SAE and metric uh, Allen sets. Those come in handy. And then another cool tool to have or a handy tool to have on the left side, I've got a flat Phillips and then a multi-purpose stubby screwdriver. Most of my tools are Klein, as is most low voltage uh, technicians, electricians. So we uh, nut drivers. I've got uh, various Klein screwdrivers, different sizes. Uh, for me, most common size I used, also a little punch, Klein strippers, and then various cutters. So uh, straight edge cutter, crimper, a little more beefy cutters. Use those mainly to cut bolts. And then some needle nose, different sizes. And then, of course, pencil, Sharpie, got to have all that stuff, Sharpie to mark cables. Razor knife, cut open boxes, whatnot. Uh, extension, so use that for bits. Um, kind of a demo screwdriver, not use that often. A uh, bunch of different DIN screwdrivers and different various uh, form factors. Um, got to have a security screwdriver for cameras and uh, security bits. And then as I kind of go through some more of this, to get in a little bit more of the specialty tools, so... Uh, Klein, you got some uh, 66 and 110 punch down. Uh, the 650 Klein punch tool is perfect for marking uh, drywall, marking nuts, bolts, screws. Uh, crimper, Klein crimper, uh, great for crimping uh, butt connectors and various different tools. Got to have a level. And then again, more, more screwdrivers, so flat, Phillips, uh, Cover plate screwdriver with both Phillips and flathead. That thing speeds up some work. Uh, various different bits. Got number ones, twos, threes. Um, also use that extension for those. Uh, flat blade cutter. So ironically, those are Harbor Freight, but they're the same as like the uh, Wiss ones you see. I swear that they're the same. So must have those from Harbor Freight. They're awesome. And then my cable crimp tool. And as I reach in here, if I can find it. Um... So you got sheet folding sheetrock saw and then some electrical tools got a, obviously an RJ45 RJ11 phone crimp tool and then I have my normal RG6 RG59 cable tools and then this is a really cool tool so my cable stripper to save time so it's super sharp razor blade and it perfectly strips the wire every time Link to that in the description as well. You got to have one of those. And then my little Klein set. So I use this all the time. It's again got flathead Torx. It's got basically a mini precision screwdriver set. And so that covers most of the tools in my bag. And uh, first part of the video, the second part of the video, I'm going to again, you know, kind of getting into this thing. Got a recycled video for uh, the second part of this in week three. And what we're going to do is go over the whole entire low voltage tool gamut. Uh, hard hats, ladders, everything we use for low voltage. Uh, that's a previous video I did before, and uh, I think it's perfect for this. It's got a lot of content in it. Uh, again, hope you like the video. And uh, so we got for our next tech uh, coming up, we've got some stuff on painting. We got some stuff on some compression tools. We got some tips and tricks on bags. So that'll be week four, five, and six. Thanks again. Have a good day.
Hello, this is Tyler with Theater Design Company. Figured I'd give you a quick introduction to what type of equipment we use on our projects. I had a uh, conversation with a customer last night and he mentioned it must be nice for us just to be able to have a small tool bag and head out to projects and not have to bring tools and everything else out. So here's the typical tools we bring to a basic job. This is not a commercial job or anything higher end. This is our basic everyday tools in our van or service vehicles. So I'll run through what we got here. So we'll have parts kits for all our TV mounting, hard hat, safety vest, vacuum, label maker, hacksaw, pencils, tape, double back tape, specialty tools for pulling TVs, chisels, two or three different drills. Um, I actually like to have two impacts and two drills for every job. Large floodlight. And then our hand tools. So basically I have stud finder level, metric tape measure, normal tape measure, files for keeping tools sharp, another level, sheetrock saw, couple punch down tools for cat five rj45 tools uh strippers i like the usog wire cutters uh soldering iron tester for power have some uh, more cutters uh network tester id tester a couple punch down tools rg6 tool for compression strippers telephone scissors uh, i like to keep a laser level for quick measurements uh, Klein multimeter, Fluke, Tone and Trace. Also use the continuity on that to test alarm sensors. A couple cable fitting tools. Whole gamut of screwdrivers, nut drivers, DIN screwdriver. The little clear case there has uh, certain things for rings or door birds. Uh, Mid-Atlantic, some uh, uni bits. Got to have uh, both sides of both metric and... Uh, American or SAE uh, Torx and you name it, uh, flashlight. So we, we use a blower on the uh, van in case we have some uh, dust, we can blow that away. Uh, six pack battery charger, so we always have a battery that's charged. Uh, pencils, pens, you can see some fish rods, a couple different fish tapes, some uh, paint tools pan around here we've got some test tools that i put in a bag some basic wrenches crescent wrenches um poe switch then we have in these bins so we'll have that bottom bin is completely full of hdmi cables up to 30 feet the second bin has network cables from one foot to 15 foot and then the top one has Everything you can imagine for wall plates or connectors. And then if we go to the very top one, the red kit is a paint kit in case we need to do some touch-ups. It's got a spray texture in there. The white bin will have uh, J boxes and items for uh, putting TV mounts in. Other stuff in the background is for jobs, testers. Hard hats, I think I went over that. And then 90% of these tools fit in a couple tool bins and that tool bag. Apologize for the mess in the background. Hey guys, so I didn't record this part. I just did a couple nice images of the tools all packed up. So basically what you're seeing is uh, hard hats again. Below that we've got our Klein uh, little cooler to put some soda, waters in, whatever. Uh, fish tapes, fish rods are set up there. Bottom box basically holds all the drills, all that good stuff there. Second box holds our meters and uh, lasers for leveling. And the uh, open box is more of a general you know, catch-all for wrenches and screwdrivers. And then on top of that, you've got your drill bit set and then the tool bag. You kind of see everything on that table is in that tool bag. 
And then uh, to the right, you got our Milwaukee, a couple of hardware toolkits with uh, TV hardware, nuts, bolts, um, touch-up paint kit, and then our three bins with HDMI cables, network cables, TV install parts. Uh, then I've got a video here of everything loaded up in the van. And generally on a project like this, we'll run out. We've got a, uh, a five-foot ladder, four-foot ladder, um, and then we have... a uh, obviously in our, our arsenal, everything up to 12 foot ladders and a 1932 man lift for doing larger commercial jobs. And then uh, tons of tools for commercial jobs. I mean, roto hammers, uh, larger lasers, bigger levels. And then our shop for the theater portion has, every, it's a full wood shop in, in essence. It has everything from uh, table saws, uh, belt sanders, and then we can do mobile with all that. And then we have bins and bins and bins of parts with fabric tool parts, um, heat guns, glue guns, you name it. So just wanted to highlight the video in general of, with all the stuff we use on the day-to-day -day basis. Um, and then we expand it from there.